the Wetlands DLC came as quite a bit of a shock to all of us. It brought in so many unique animals from such a unique biome that it really helped to flesh out those areas of your zoos, but what happens if those eight animals just don't cut it? Well, welcome back everyone. My name is Leaf and it's always so great to have you guys here once again for another video. We kind of did something like this back during the European DLC and I really want to do something again very much like this, where we kind of go over the best wetland mods for Planet Zoo. This is really going to cover all types of mods. It's really going to cover like, you know, all different types and styles. So we're just going to jump right into it with number one, the Sitatunga. Yes, this one is a beautiful one. You may have heard the Sitatunga get mentioned whenever the Nile Lechway comes up, and that's really because they're not so different after all. They're both beautiful, very unique kind of antelopes that are both found in relatively marshy kind of wetland type areas. They're both very highly adapted to lifestyle within these areas. And the Sitatunga is really cool because it's such a beautiful animal. Being in the genus Tragalathus, these guys are related to not only kudus, but they're also related to bongos and bushbucks as well. What I find most amazing about these creatures is the sexual dimorphism that they do display. They're extremely beautiful, and they're extremely vibrant creatures, and I really do suggest you guys check this one out by Fnatic because it is such a beautiful high quality mod that will go such a long way to help flesh out your African wetlands areas. Another one on my list sitting at number two is the Rosette Spoonbill by Jen. This one literally just came out, and it's already one of my favorites. This one is such a beautiful, beautiful representation of North American and some South American wildlife, and it's just such a really cool creature. These guys are closely related to pelicans, not really like that far off from them, and they're just really extremely dynamic animals, and having these guys in the game will go such a long way to making your aviaries really pop with color, just because of the beautiful color that they really do demonstrate on them. Moving on from there, I literally just mentioned these guys, the water buck. This one is made by Bonko Hardwood, and it's so freaking beautiful. Let me tell you that much. These guys are incredibly masterful looking. Bongo did such an amazing job with the texture, and they're very unique animals as well. They have this kind of like heart on their butt, which I think is extremely funny. Either way, I really do suggest you guys check these guys out, but not as much as I suggest you guys checking out the South American tapir. Listen, I'm a tapir fan all the way. I love them. They're some of my favorite animals ever, and Hoxton Mods did a really great job with this one. Being one of the first mods for Planet Zoo, like new species mods, this one has stood the test of time and is still incredibly great to have in your game. These guys are extremely common in zoos, even more so than the Baird's Tapir, their other South American cousin, and we don't even talk about the Mountain Tapir at that, but the South American Tapir is a really good representative of these kind of wetlands areas found in South America, and I really do suggest you guys check this one out. What I also have is probably one of the only fully aquatic animals in this list. This is the West Indian manatee, and I currently have a version out, but Jen will be releasing her version relatively soon. This is a really incredible mod, and it's just a really great representation of fully aquatic life in Planet Zoo. If you guys have never really played with aquatic mods before, it is important to note that they kind of do require just a smidge of land space, but nothing really too crazy because they're really set in their behaviors to automatically go in water and not come out unless if it is to breed. And of course, keep in mind that this technology is constantly being improved by Jen and Buffsu and Giorno Pizza that we will hopefully get fully aquatic mods working relatively soon. But I really do suggest you guys check out the West Indian manatee because they are really impressive creatures. Moving on from there, I also have the Southern Screamer from Narwhaler. Again, another representative of South American wildlife. This is a beautiful bird. And this is actually the first peafowl based mod that has introduced wading in kind of shallow water. So the Southern Screamer is a very unique animal that often inhabits wetlands and stuff like that. It's a really beautiful creature 
creature at that and I really do suggest you guys checking that out in case if you guys are working on a South American area. Moving on from there, I have a mod from Nicholas Line Rider, the Asian Water Monitor. These guys are, I believe, our first Asian species on here, and they're incredibly beautiful. He did this custom texture for it, and they look so beautiful at that. These guys are very famous all around the world, and a lot of zoos actually do have them. And they're just really unique and dynamic species, very much like the Nile Monitor, but they go a long way to help represent Asia, which I feel like we can never get enough representation of the biodiversity that we have over there. I also have the American Flamingo. I'm actually just going to throw the entire Flamingo pack in here, I'm going to be completely honest. Flamingos are such dynamic species, and I have to say, me, Jen, and Nick who retrospectively have made the Lesser Flamingo and the Chilean Flamingo respectively have gone such a long way to help represent this beautiful dynamic group of animals and they even have a bunch of scenery in there with the Flamingo pack as well so I really do highly suggest you guys check that out. I also have the Mallard Duck from Bongo Hardwood. This one was one of the first kind of duck mods that we ever got that really acts as like an ambient animal. Now do keep in mind when you do use these, they will kind of look like they're floating. Uh, this is currently a limitation with modding right now that we're not able to kind of like chop off the legs of the flamingo, but this one is a really incredible mod that I really do suggest you guys check out. Uh, it goes a long way to help decorate your zoo, not only for getting beautiful birds in your game, but also just helping your zoos feel alive, just helping it make sure that you have something moving in your water. And you always see like ducks at zoos and stuff like that, so I really can't suggest that enough. What I also have are the prop animal packs and the exhibit prop packs by Nicholas Lion Rider. These go such a long way to help bring so much biodiversity from you know your exhibits and making small habitats based on those animals. Uh, he was able to actually turn all the exhibit animals into props, including frogs, bullfrogs, toads, uh, even spiders, even water bugs and stuff like that. And I really do suggest you guys check this out in case if you guys are building like small animal houses, maybe you're even making a wetlands house, this would go such a long way as to help bring this incredibly biodiverse region of, you know, biomes into your zoos. But that's about it that I have today. Did I miss anything? You guys be sure to let me know because I am more than happy to hear what you guys determine to be your top 10 essential wetlands mods for Planet Zoo. But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today. You guys are always gems. I really do appreciate it. I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Now tomorrow is the mod showcase, so be sure to stay tuned for that. We might even be getting some more wetlands creatures then. Who knows? But either way, my name is Leaf. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye bye now.